everyone, my name is Susanna, but you can call me Suze. We're going to kick the day off by singing about God together. So everyone stand up and sing along. You know when I'm lonely, you know when I'm sad, I know. And you are with me, yeah you are with me. Trust you, yeah, I can trust you. You don't want perfection, you just want my best. And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest. God is greater, greater than my feelings, He knows everything. He knows everything God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything He knows everything You know when I'm lonely You know when I'm sad I know And then you are with me Yeah, you are with me You know when I'm worried You know when I'm mad trust you. Yeah, I can trust you. You don't want perfection. You just want my best. And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest. God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything. He knows everything God is greater, greater than my feelings He knows everything He knows everything You are greater than all I feel You know it all and you always will I trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not Woo! You are greater than all I feel You know it all and you always will I trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not God is greater than my feelings He knows everything He knows everything He knows everything God is greater than my feelings He knows everything He knows everything We all have feelings, but no matter what, God is greater than our feelings. And that's what this Blueprint series is all about. Have any of you ever watched a show on TV or a video on YouTube about building or construction? Well, I have the honor of being one of the hosts of the hit construction show, Build It, with my good pal Skip. Take a look at what happened while we were filming our latest episode. This is the best day! I just love to party! No, no, no! Not like that! Maybe like this? Ugh, I don't know. Susanna, what's up? What on earth are you working on? I mean, what could be so important that it makes you want to miss out on this mega fantastical super fun time P-A-R-T-Y? Skip, this is more important than cupcakes and confetti right now. This dollhouse has to be the best dollhouse anyone has ever seen. Looks good to me. Good? Good? Skip, it can't just be good. It has to be perfect. No, 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 not again. Okay, well, I can tell that you need some more time to finish up whatever it is you're working on, but hurry up. Little Lemonade, the unicorn horse wonder, is gonna be here any minute. And I hear she's doing her flying trick today. We can't miss it. Just a little dab here. I thought you were almost done. Look at what Bongo the Clown gave me. Which color blue do you think it needs? Um, Suze, 
How many pairs of glasses does it take to see? There's no time for that. Which color is just right? I mean, perfect. How about blue? For real, Skip, which blue? There is ocean mist, sky blue one, sky blue two, not to be confused with cloudy sky blue. Which color is gonna be just perfect? Okay, I can see that you need more time. Um, hurry up or you'll miss the best part of the party. There will be no present for the party if I can't get this finished. I thought it was finished. It looked great already, Suze. The party is almost over. Hey, Suze, it's over. Suze, the party's over. Brought you a party favor. Oh, man. Those are some serious feelings we're dealing with here. I think there's something important we can all learn from that. Whenever we start to feel our emotions building up, we need to deal with how we feel. And here are three steps into doing just that. The first step is to stop and figure out how we're really feeling. This can be tough, but it's important because if we're not careful, we can let our emotions get the best of us. If that happens, things can seem worse than they actually are, which can cause us to make decisions that we can't undo. So let's stop right now and talk about the emotions we just saw. It looks like I really missed out on an awesome party because I was being so critical of my work on the dollhouse. I just wanted it to be perfect. But when my feelings started to get out of control like that, I should have stopped to figure out what I was feeling and looked at what was really going on. That's why step two, look, is so important. If I would have stepped back and looked at the dollhouse, I might have seen how it really looked great like Skip said and I would have seen the awesome party I was missing out on. But I really struggle with being really critical of everything I'm working on. That is because I sometimes feel the need to be perfect. Who here likes to mess up? Anybody? That's why doing step three, which is listening to the truth of God's word, is so important with dealing with how we feel. If we're not careful, lies can creep in and make us feel things that just aren't true. We've got to listen to God's blueprint for life, the Bible. God gave us the Bible as the blueprint for how we should deal with what we feel. Here, check this out. Hey, everybody, listen up. Here's what God has to say. Oh, yeah. What you got for us today? Have you ever wanted something to be so perfect that it drove you crazy? Was it the pictures on your science fair project needing to be just right? Oh, 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 maybe it was finishing that last level, aka boss level. 
with a perfect score. And then, if you don't get it right, you have to restart and restart and restart and restart. We, and... we get the point. Sometimes trying to be perfect can cause a total freakout moment. But we can remember that Jesus wants us to do our best. Yeah, I mean, he wants our very best, but not to the point where we have unrealistic expectations that makes us lose our cool. Ah, oh, dude, it's kind of like that whole Martha and Mary situation. Am I right? I don't think I know what you're talking about. Oh, man. Okay, check it out. There are these two sisters, Martha and Mary. And one day, as they're just hanging out, doing sister stuff, Jesus popped into town and wanted to come to their house. And that was, like, really cool, because it's Jesus, and he's a pretty big deal. Can you imagine having Jesus come over to your house? I mean, not if that meant he would see all the dirty clothes on my bedroom floor. I'd have to get to work, and fast. I would want every single thing to be perfect. You totally get how Martha felt. Knowing that Jesus was coming to visit put Martha into work mode. I mean, as soon as he got there, she started running around all over the place, cleaning and cooking and cleaning some more. Now, don't get me wrong, it's good for things to be clean and everyone definitely needs to eat, but Martha felt like she was the only one who cared and that she was the only one doing all the work. Soon, these feelings caused a major problem. Oh no. Oh yeah, Martha again, totally in food prep overdrive, was busy. You know, trying to make things perfect. But her sister Mary, not so much. Wait, where's Mary? Where's all... Mary in all this, you might ask? I think that's what I just said. Mary was just hanging out, listening to Jesus talk. And you know, when Jesus is talking, it's usually a good idea to listen. So that's exactly what Mary did. But that made Martha super mad. Martha was mad at Mary for listening to Jesus? Yeah, totally. I mean, here she was working hard to make sure everything was perfect for Jesus while Mary was just sitting there. Wait, why did that make Martha so mad? I thought it was important. Well, it was, but Martha was focused on the wrong thing. While she was busy with all that had to be done, she missed out on the good stuff. Oh, as in Jesus being right in front of her. Right. Well, Martha didn't see it that way, and she had had enough. She marched straight over to Jesus, and it went a little something like this. Jesus! Mary's just sitting over there, and I'm left to do all this work. Don't you care? Tell her to help me. Sounds like Martha was being critical of Mary. Exactly. Jesus let her know that Mary was actually the one doing the right thing. Martha was so stressed about making everything perfect for Jesus that she wasn't even able to enjoy his company. Okay, okay, I get it. It's not that cleaning and cooking was a bad thing. Martha just missed out on what was better. Rightio, muchacho. So, the next time you're stressed about things being perfect, don't forget, Jesus only wants your best. As you saw from that true story, Martha missed out on how exciting it was to be around Jesus because she was trying to be perfect. But Jesus reminded her that he just wanted her best. That wasn't just true for Martha, it's true for you and me every single day. The next time we're feeling the need to be perfect and we're tempted to be critical and think that what we've done isn't good enough, we can stop, look, and listen to the truth of God's word that tells us Jesus only wants us to give it our best. And that's what we need to know today. Everybody say this with me. When I feel I need to be perfect, Jesus only wants my best. That's it. You can deal with how you feel when you stop, look, and listen. Now we're gonna play a game called Spot It. Two cards will appear on the screen and your job is to spot the object that appears on both cards as quickly as possible. You will have 10 seconds before the cards disappear, so try to spot it fast. On your mark, get set, go!
Great game, everyone. Now there's one more way to deal with all of your feelings, and that's to worship God by singing. So let's do it.